Access to medicine in HIV is a critical part of VIV's commitment and response to the HIV AIDS epidemic globally. It's central to what we do to make sure that the medicines that we research and develop reach all the different people living around the world with HIV who can benefit from them. Now more than ever, we need to continue to do this as we strive collectively with partners to achieve the 1990-90 goals and ultimately to end the AIDS epidemic. For every product that Vive is researching and developing, strive to develop an access to medicine strategy for each of those products. It's driven by clinical need and the environment in which that those products may have a benefit uh, around the world. That doesn't mean to say that our approach is the same for every product because every different product has a different clinical profile and different elements of it that may not suit every different setting around the world. At Vive, um, we make a commitment to develop an access to medicine strategy for products when they start in phase three development. By that stage, we know that the drug has got a, a stronger chance of um, being registered and approved and making it to market. And that makes the most sense then when we can evaluate how it might fit in global public health programmes in lower middle income countries as well as high income countries around the world. Working with the MPP over the last few years has been really important and valuable for Vive, particularly around dolitegravir. Dolitegravir has held huge promise um, for the global HIV response and clearly needed a, a large partnership and collaboration to make sure that there are the right number of manufacturers and suppliers to really support the anticipated future demand of dolitegravir for people living with HIV. I believe our partnership with the MPP has helped that be managed and delivered efficiently and as, as quickly as I think the global health response was really looking to see it happen. I think the voluntary licensing approach that was developed in the HIV space and is now being used elsewhere in other therapy areas is, has been a huge success uh, and I'm proud of what um, Vive and GSK before us have done in this space. I think it continues to play a really important role in really bringing down the price of antiretrovirals to support more people living with HIV around the world. Unfortunately, it's not the answer to every um, access issue that the, that the world faces and even in HIV. Um, so we still need to look collectively about how do we support service delivery and how do we support the infrastructure in countries to make sure people access services and the treatment and care that they need. Beyond that, we also need to look at the sustainable funding of treatment access, which is of course key um, beyond the medicines themselves. And then finally, but certainly not uh, any, any less of a concern, is fighting the stigma and discrimination, which are a real problem in the HIV space and for, cause a real barrier to access for many people who are living with HIV.